In this video, we're going to have a look at rational functions and what they look like, how to find the asymptotes and how to sketch them. Okay, so a rational function is a function where we're going to have some sort of division or, or x's on the bottom line. If you ever see an x on the denominator of a fraction, we know it's going to be a rational function. And rational functions have an interesting look and shape about them because there's times where in the function, uh, we're going to have these random dotted lines, which are actually asymptotes where the function doesn't exist. So we'll go through and find the asymptotes and intercepts of both of these examples and sketch them. So firstly, if we want to try and find the asymptotes of a rational function, we start with the vertical asymptote. Now the vertical asymptote can be found by finding the fraction part of the function. And we want to look at the denominator. And we want to make that equal to zero. So if we set this denominator of x plus two is equal to zero, we can then solve for x. And x will therefore be equal to negative two. And the reason why we do that is because if x is equal to negative two, think about what y will be our function. Well, we will have nine over negative two plus two, and then plus three. And negative two plus two is zero. And we know that nine divided by zero is undefined. We can't do that. So we're going to have an undefined answer for y, which is an asymptote. So that's why we let the denominator equal to zero. Okay, our horizontal asymptote. This is going to be a y equals equation. What we need to do is we need to look at our, our fraction part of our rational function. And we need to spot if there's any x's on the numerator on the top line. And if there isn't, which is in this case, there's no x's, the horizontal asymptote y equals will be zero because there's no x's on the top line. So it's just going to be zero. But then we need to consider if there is a vertical shift to our rational function. And that's a plus or minus a constant at the end of our function. And if there is one, we need to add or subtract whatever that is, because that's going to shift our whole function up three units. So our horizontal asymptote will be zero plus three. So y will equal three. So there they are the two equations of our asymptotes, our vertical and horizontal. Okay, we also want to find our intercepts of our rational function. So let's start with the y intercept. So y intercepts can be found or y intercepts can be found when we let x equal zero. Now, if we let x equal zero, uh, we're going to get y is equal to nine over zero plus two plus three. Now, nine over two is just uh, as a decimal, 4.5. We could add the three, so we 7.5. So y will be equal to 7.5. That will be our y-intercept. And well, there should be intercept. There's only ever one y-intercept. And x-intercept, we know we can find when we let y equal zero. So if we let y equal zero of our function, we're going to get zero is equal to nine over x plus two, and then plus three. And the goal is to solve for x. So we can move the three over as a negative. Negative three is equal to nine over x plus two. And then we can multiply the x plus two up by negative three. And we're going to get negative three x, and then minus six is equal to nine. And we can say negative three X is equal to, and if we add the six X over, add the six, sorry, over to nine, we're going to get 15. So X will be 15 over negative three, which is negative five. Okay, now once we have our asymptotes and our intercepts, we can sketch this. So let's just do a rough sketch down here. We know that we have y and x. Let's put in our asymptotes. Our vertical asymptote is when x equals negative two. So if we go to when x is negative one, negative two, and that whole dotted line here is when x equals negative two. So that's going to be our vertical asymptote when x is equal to negative two. Now our horizontal asymptote was when y is equal to three. 
So y is equal to 1, 2, and 3. So if we extend that, that is our horizontal asymptote. And y is equal to 3. Now let's put in our intercepts. Our y-intercept is at 7.5. So it's going to be up here somewhere at 7.5. This will just be a rough sketch. Actually, this might go a little bit higher. And this will be 7.5. And we also know that the x-intercept is negative 5. That's going to be somewhere about here, negative 5. Now with rational functions, we know we have this weird shape where we're going to have opposite sides, or it could be here and here. So we need to uh, determine which sides it will be, depending on what the intercepts told us. The intercepts told us that it goes through this point here at 7.5. So I know that it's going to have some sort of curve that looks like this. They'll asymptote at this horizontal and asymptote at this vertical. And then we're also going to have one that passes through here and asymptotes and asymptotes. So it's a bit of a weird shape, but uh, they're pretty lenient in the IB math exams just by doing a rough sketch through these two key points. Okay, so that's the first example. I'll go through the second example using a very similar technique. So if we have a vertical asymptote uh, when the denominator is equal to zero, so x plus 1 is equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to negative 1. We have found the equation of our vertical asymptote. Our horizontal asymptote, this is when y equals. Now, I said in the first example, if there's no x's on top, it's going to be 0. And then we need to consider some uh, positive shift. If there is an x on top, the horizontal asymptote, the equation is y equals and it's the coefficient of the numerator x divided by the coefficient of the denominator x. So in simple terms, it's going to be whatever the number is in front of the x over whatever the number is in front of the x. So it'll be 2 over, and there's an invisible 1 here in front of the x. So it'll be 2 over 1. And we do need to consider, is there a positive or a negative shift happening here? And in this example, there is not. So we can just say y is equal to 2. Okay, our intercepts, our y-intercept, that is when x is equal to 0. So we have y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 4 over 0 plus 1. So y will equal 4 over 1. And our x-intercept, this will be when y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 2x plus 4 over x plus 1. Now to solve this, we just multiply the x plus 1 up by 0, which is just 0. So 0 will just equal the numerator, 2x plus 4. If I move the 4 over, it will be negative 4. And if I divide the 2 underneath, I'll get negative 2. So x will equal negative 2. Okay, so let's now sketch with what we know. So I have my y, my x, my asymptotes, I can put dotted lines. So when x equals negative 1, which will be here, so that's va when x equals negative 1. And my horizontal asymptote was when y equals 2. So that's my horizontal asymptote when y equals 2. I know that my function will pass through my x and y intercept. So 4 for the y and negative 2 for the x. So once again, I can then sketch my curve with a rough shape that passes throughout my points but asymptotes at my dotted lines. Okay, so this is an introduction. I, I highly suggest you practice a few IB questions on rational functions, but uh, stick to these uh, templates here of finding the asymptotes and the intercepts. Okay, good luck.